it is Tuesday, March 14th. We just got done taking the boys, um, Bob and Harfoot, to get booster shots and microchips. And I needed to come up and fertilize my garage overflow from the house now. And I had to show you guys something pretty, pretty exciting. My first babies of the season. And look at how tiny they are. <laughs> They're such babies. Petunias are ready to be separated. Um, I did get the two lights that my mom and dad gave me hung on these two shelves. And I got the one that was down here hung on that shelf. And um, I'm giving everybody stinky fertilizer. And I think I am getting really close to some blooms. So um, hopefully I can start some hanging baskets. I may not have a lot of colors this year um, because I only had two types of petunias um, and the other ones didn't germinate well. So um, I've got tons of the balcony and these Alderman blues, but it's our first year, you know, it is what it is. Those are my marigolds. They're doing great. Almost at bud stage also. And look at these coleuses. Oh, I adore these things so much. So I could put these in the middle of the hanging baskets with a few of the pansies and a few petunas. And I think it would look so pretty. Oh, it's, it's, it's getting real. Oh, it's exciting. Anyway, I just need to furnish, finish fertilizing these guys and then get off my knee for a bit. But I just had to share my first blooms from seed. It's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm so excited. Oh. It makes all of the days when I feel like I can't do this and I'm overwhelmed um, just disappear. When I can look at all of this and I started all of these from seed. All of them. I mean, oh. Look at all of them. Almost isn't even counting what's in the house. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling slightly proud. Just a tad. Until I kill the next thing. <laughs> anyway, it's exciting. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys later. My younglings pointed out to me today that the jewels of Opar close up at nighttime. I had no idea. I usually don't put them to bed. The husband or the, the younglings do. So, this is fascinating. I'll show you what they look like in the morning. I freaking love plants. In my last vlog, I was talking about how I needed one more rhubarb to make the cemetery. <laughs> and in a couple days of watering now, look who showed up. Yay! <laughs> and now that we moved the raspberries that were planted here or had sprouted up here, up here, like it gives a nice space just for the rhubarb. Oh, those guys came from my old house too. That makes me happy. Get out here and water these guys. Oh, it's looking good. Just got to finish building beds and water 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 that's that's it i need to get some more leaf mulch down too how are these guys doing they look okay well, that's cool a few of them look rough that one transplanted rough and that one did but i don't see any of the new ones i planted emerging yet that's okay Looking good. Oh, look at these tulips. Wow. It's crazy how fast it changes, you know? Oh, I think these are sunflowers. So I gotta dig those up and I've got volunteer tomatoes coming up everywhere. I'm gonna get them big enough to put them into a pot, but, um, let them uh, just be mystery, mystery tomatoes. So, 
Oh, these guys are looking good. Look at this. Oh, I love them. Look at the difference in the daytime of these guys. And I learned these guys are edible and they taste like Malabar spinach. I'm so excited about these. I love them so much. Oh my goodness. I love them. Are, are you open for business? This, this is a nice store setup. <laughs> I like that we could just set this one just on that too, like in between those. Yeah, I think it would look cute. Bob, stop biting me. Stop. <laughs> what the heck is your problem? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> that was not your toy. And you, Nori. Stop. Stop. Ow. Stop. God, you act like you guys don't ever get attention. What the heck? You're ready for breakfast. Is that what your problem is? No, no I'm leaving. You're hurting me. I just wanted to come snuggle you and you're being mean. Yeah.